y'all. It's hay day. Are you excited to get new hay? No, you want me to put you down? Look at him every time I go to kiss him. Watch his face. <laughs> it's like when your mom goes to drop the kid off at school and they're like, bye honey, love you. And the kid's like, <laughs> So a while ago I did a video on hay and I like asked people's opinions on like what they liked for hay and all of the suggestions I got from you guys, I found the best hay option for us. So I'm gonna take you on that trip today so I can show you what I learned from you guys. Right David? You like it. You like to see and pee on it, don't you? Okay, I can put you down. to put my hay in so it stays nice and fresh and it doesn't get everywhere mostly my car however my car is always a mess you'll see our backyard looks like dump and you're filming all of it I hate this bridge Remember that day I was driving and I saw three accidents on this bridge in one day? Ha! <laughs> You're like... <laughs> area gives me anxiety. I'm... You're not gonna let me stop and get fast food because you want to get back to your friends, aren't you? What's your favorite fast food? That's like not even a fair question because it's like it just depends. Breakfast? McDonald's. Lunch? Burger King. No. Lunch? Taco Bell. I can't eat fast food for dinner, so really it's just those two. Because if I eat it for dinner, then it's gonna be a little night. Taco Bell, we're literally passing all of them. We just passed Burger King, McDonald's, and Taco Bell. And they're all going towards the hay, not on the way home, Josh. I think the most depressing part about it is you don't ever get anything from fast food, and I'm eating like a trash human alone. Food. There's nothing wrong with fast food if you don't crave it. Like, I crave it. You guys should let me know in the comments what your favorite fast food is. I'm like pretty sure I've asked this question before, but it's like one of my favorite questions to ask people just in general. I feel like you get to know people a lot by what their choice is. And then there's always that person that's like, I don't eat fast food. And I'm like, that's, I'm great that you can make healthy choices for yourself, but like, that's not me. Yes, like you, like little bunny rabbits. Don't get me wrong, I love bunny rabbits, but you eat like a bunny rabbit. I like carrots. <sighs> One day I'll be able to eat healthy and I'll like want to eat healthy. I'm just not totally there yet. It's me. Driving. I am and I'm doing a great job at it. Does it say Dong's Karate? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it does. That's awesome. I mean, you're gonna remember that name. Can I just run in and pay for it and then we'll go to the, I don't wanna film inside. I'm not that comfortable yet. You get to wait here in the dog like a car, wait. Wait in the car like a dog. <laughs> I'll crack the windows. Ha, huh. you don't have to stop at fast food anymore. All right, so for $12.99, Y'all are gonna see how much hay I get. I was getting 50 pound Wait, boxes. Just go straight, I was waiting for you. I'm coming, can I do what I, can you stop driving for me? Oh my God. I'm the one who comes here and picks up the hay all the time. It's just to try to keep the less mess as possible. How much do you think it weighs? It's about 40 to 50 pounds. Yeah. I used to pay $50 oh. for a 50 pound box of hay. This has been like a godsend. <laughs> No, we got it. Thank you so much. You have a good day. You as well. Appreciate it. I wonder when I came last so I know how long it lasts me. Everyone here is so nice. Every guy who's helped me has always been so nice. So, 
We were just at Southern States. That is what our local farm store is. And in my hay video, when I asked for people to leave their suggestions for hay in the comments, someone suggested to check out my local farm store. And when we looked up what our local farm store is, it's Southern States. So we went and like the guy said, we said it's around 40 to 50 pounds and we paid $12.99 for it. And I was paying $50 for, I think I was getting like the Oxbow Timothy Orchard mix. And and for a 50 pound box, I was spending about $50. Josh knows the math about like how much money I'm saving a year. Also, I saw that you unplugged my phone from the charger. Yeah, mine was dead. Mine was dead. That's why it was charging. This dude, this dude, he's literal the world's longest cell phone charging cord next to his bed. His phone will be right next to the charger, but he never plugs it in. So his phone is always dead. Drives me nuts. Drives me nuts. This channel is about guinea pigs and you're making it about Sarah Therapy. About how you drive me nuts. <laughs> Let's switch it. Let's do an episode where Josh does all in the comments. Who wants to see Josh do a full episode where I get to film him? No one wants to see that. Uh, we'll leave it to the comments. We'll see what they no say. One. If we get at least 50 people to say they want Josh to do a video, at least 50 people says, Josh, do a video. Can I, will you do it? We'll do something. <laughs> I went home. I don't even know what you said. I said, oh, we home. I still don't know what you said. Oh, we home. Oh, we home. Okay. I swear I love him. <laughs> Sometimes. Now they get to get froshies. Froshies? Yeah, froshy hay. See you in the pig room. Finally made it to the pig room. We took a little break. It's really hot, jumped in the pool, but it's hay time, it's pig time. We've had a lot of me time. So we're just gonna get right to it. I'm gonna give everyone fresh hay. You're gonna watch how much they love it. I mean, honestly, this hay is like less dusty than the more expensive hay I was buying. Even my vet said this was a better option than overly manufactured hay. We gotta keep going though. Everybody can hear them eating and they're waiting their turn. made it to the end of our heyday. I mean, really, I just want to thank you guys for like teaching me to go and look for like a farm store in my area because we are now saving $600 a year on hay, which is a big deal considering like all the other expenses we have for our guinea pigs. I know that for a lot of people, you won't need that much hay. I mean, I have 12 pigs. So for me, it's just the right amount. But for some of you who might have only two pigs, it could be too much to go to your local farm store. Nonetheless, hay lasts for a long time as long as you keep it in a container. And as always, thank you guys for being here. We love you. See you next time.